wanted to show you what tech I brought on this trip, what was necessary, what was just for fun. Um, we can start with charging. Everybody needs to keep stuff charged. Uh, I have a case here. This is from the company Moment, which is actually the lenses and cell phone case that I'm using to record and document this trip. I will get into that. I First thing I have here is a Septix um, power block. It is got every type of plug you could need for your trip. Really, this is either the only thing you need or you don't need it at all. It has four USB plugs at the top. It's great, but it's heavy, and everywhere you go will be converters. Also, smartphones these days and everything else generally runs off a USB, and they can handle current variation, so you don't really have to use it. Very convenient, also somewhat unnecessary. A Type L converter, this three prong, pretty inexpensive on Amazon, comes in two or three packs. This one was for when I was in Argentina. I forget the type that this was, but compared to spending $6 or $25, I spent 10 cents. So where you go, there will be converters. This specifically came with my phone, which is a USB-C fast charging device. Fast charging is incredible. This is why I brought this separate. It is also why I purchased this Anchor Power Block. This Anchor Power Block is a hardwired power block, a USB block that has a USB-C as well as four USB cords. One thing that's super nice about having this is that you don't have to fight with any other tourist for use of the outlet. If you use one outlet, you not only have space for your phone, your, your headphones if they're wireless, your charger, but you have space for two friends too. So this is a little bit extra, but it was super convenient to have and it served me very well. With that being said, I have a USB-C to USB-C cord. I have an anchor braided USB to micro USB. That is for my headphones and my speaker. I have a USB to USB-C, very convenient. Um, a mini USB to USB micro, uh, haven't used it much, but it's so tiny that I figured I'd bring an extra with me. One of my favorite purchases has been this SanDisk one terabyte flash drive. Um, I don't know if you call it a flash drive or a solid state drive. This is a USB-C to USB-C. It also came with a converter to go to regular USB. I wanted to bring my files from home and I wanted to make sure I could back up anything I need to back up videos, pictures, especially if I did not have access to cloud storage. So this thing has been super cool. It's super durable. It's very fast. Um, and these things are only getting cheaper. Cool little addition there. This is a Moment lens case that I converted into my tech case and has been um, very useful. It's nice to know where everything is. Also keeps some little bracelets and stuff I purchased in here. The second thing, a silly little acronym for travelers, ABC, always be charging. This Anchor Power Block will get you seven charges on a cell phone. It is incredible. It is quite heavy, but it is quite useful. It has two USB outlets. You can charge two devices at once, and if you are in a bunk bed, if you're somewhere without electricity, if you're on a bus, this is your baby. It's great. It comes with this little carrying case, and this carrying case has become convenient for me because I keep two pens in here, which is really eight pens. I have four bold colors and four regular colors. I am a nerd, and I do love these big multicolored pens. With the Anchor case, I actually have two more of uh, the USB micro and the USB-C cables. Uh, it has been extremely useful. USB-C is in case my cell phone cable breaks and the extra micro is because we all have shit to charge. All of this goes into my USB, um, into my portable charger case, which has been super convenient. In terms of music, the Bose, um, what do they call this? The micro sound link is sick. You can pair this with a second one to get some stereo sound. It bumps like a motherfucker, and everybody loves when you have music. This is great, especially if you're someone with good music. I have the, I think these are called Tozo, T-O-Z-O, Bluetooth headphones. They're very good. They're very inexpensive. At least they were at the time. USB headphones are the new 
craze. If you're not an AirPod user and you don't want to spend a couple hundred dollars on Bose, something like this or these is super useful. They charge with a USB and they are a charging case. So anytime you're not using them, the headphone stays charged. I absolutely love these. Lastly is the camera and tech here. I do have a pair of hardwired headphones in here, which I keep in what they call a nest. I am a nerd and I like being organized. Hence these videos, you're welcome. In my carrying case here, which is uh, unbranded, but I put it in Amazon. It's very convenient. I keep the lens covers, the uh, moment lens covers. This is an 18 millimeter fish eye. That's what's being recorded on right now. I have a 58 mil telescoping lens, a little extra bag that I used to keep these lenses protected and a microfiber cloth, which is invaluable. Uh, I keep a tripod and ultra pod, um, super tiny USB tripod. I'm sorry, not USB, um, regular camera jack tripod which I love so much. It all fits in here. The things that you don't see is the ready cam mount as well as the smatch tree uh, tripod extendable. You know what? Let me just show it to you because it's so dope. It's what I'm using to record this video. Boom. This is the video recording setup. This is the ready cam. This is the XL. It's great for holding um, your camera or your smartphone, and it is super durable. I've had this thing for like five years. This uh, Smattree tripod, Smat Smattree, right, um, is super dope too. So if I can show you real quick, the tripod bottom uh, spins off. Cool. I have monkey feet, and this thing extends super far like super super far one second sick right so i love it i use it i also can use it hey, turn the video off there just wanted to show you the last bit of these moment lenses they're great moment makes a case for the google samsung or iphone cell phones as of 2019 they also make a few variations on this lens this lens is sick it's metal and it's real durable. It clicks into your phone case perfectly, so you don't have to worry about lining up the shot like those other clamps. It's metal. This is the 58 mil. We're filming on the fisheye. They make like a, I forget how you call it, an amphomorphic, whatever the heck it's called, type of lens too, for like more video type, like film shit. But it's cool. Check it out. Thanks for watching.